Okay guys, we got a big game today. Worms Armageddon for the Nintendo 64. This is a fan favorite. I spent numerous hours as a kid playing with my friends, blasting each other, blowing up the environment. This is a nutty game, absolutely nutty. And you know, whoever came up with this idea, creative genius really, because it's still going strong on modern games. It's four players simultaneous, so I think that's what makes it very appealing. Let's get into the unboxing. Here's the cover art. You got this angry worm looking dude here. He's got some machine guns and a pistol pointing right at you. And you got this random sheep just blown to smithereens. Poor guy. He'll be alright though. Looks like he'll be alright. Overall I like the looks of this cover art. It shows absolute madness which accurately depicts the game so fairly good. Here's the tops, the side, just the logo a few times. Here's the back. Worms with weapons take the bait. Just the description. There's co cooperative mode against computers. So a lot of good things to keep you playing for hours on this game. Let's get into the insides of the box. You got the cartridge, manual. Looks like just a zoomed in of this guy's face. Pretty funny stuff. Just a few inserts, nothing special. Let's go through the manual real quick. Wow, they really love that guy's face, hey? So just some controls, precautions. Goes through all the modes here. One thing I do remember about this game was how awesome the level design was. Like, look at that. Some sort of science lab and you're jumping around as worms on there, blowing things up. Definitely a lot of work put into this game. So that's the manual, nothing too crazy. Here's the cart. Of course, I'm gonna show you the circuit board here. You just got the Worms Armageddon logo there. Black background. Nothing crazy. I am struggling to get that off. There we go. So I got that off. Get Pop the shield off. There's the PCB for you guys. <coughs> Standard NES circuit board, 1996. The classic Nintendo chips there. And now I'm gonna do a quick review for you guys. All right, so we got Worms Armageddon booted up. The Nintendo 64. God, that's a little creepy. I don't remember that as a kid, but nonetheless, let's get into it. Doing quick start here. As mentioned, it's turn-based, so I gotta wait for the computer. Looks like computer gets to go first. Now, this is gonna be a tough level. It's gonna end pretty quick. I can already tell with all the water. The objective of the game is to eliminate the other four worms on the opposing team. Last man standing wins the game. So he's already got one of my guys. Not too happy about that, but I have the advantage now, I think. Press B to jump, you can do a little backflip, get up high ground, and then blast him! Got him! So it's tied up now? Like that. I have this advantage of having this guy right here, so... I think we're gonna be okay. Okay, so one thing I'm gonna mention is if you're playing against a computer, be prepared to be bored. They like to take their time picking what to do. And it's not very fun waiting. I'd recommend playing with friends. That's when it's the funnest. I got the advantage of having three of his guys here. I'm gonna change the weapon with the R button, the dynamite. Plant that and then 
absolutely book it here. Boom! Yo! Just won the game right there. Watch this instant replay. Triple kill for you guys. Absolutely love it. Peace out. That's an easy win for your boy. You're watching a professional Worms player. Wow. So, I already played through a round for you guys. Just like that. I'm going to start up here for you guys. I wanted to talk about a few more things. So, the environment, not only is it cool little creative envir uh, levels, the environment is destructible. You know, you can interact with the environment. So that's definitely a cool thing for the N64. You can blow up the walls around you and dig through, dig holes and stuff. So it definitely calls for some creative, creative strategies. Yes, Another sir. thing is these names, Puke Breath. Some comedy here, foul stench. The quotes from these worms are pretty funny. Definitely a bonus for the game. And overall, I'm gonna say, you know, soundtrack not the greatest. You know, like a 6 out of 10. Gameplay, really fun. 8 out of 10. And overall graphics, not the best. But I do love the level design. Very creative, as you see here. So I'm gonna give it a 7 for the graphics. Overall score, 7 out of 10. You know, I used to love this kid. Not so much anymore. Either way, definitely check it out. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.